what we have here is the Chapuis X4, uh, somewhat similar to the Chapuis UGX, uh, with the exception of some minor aesthetical differences, as well as the fact that the X4 has adjustable regulation, which is the most notable difference between the two guns. Um, the aesthetical differences kind of reside in the fact that the X4 has a mustache uh, on the action, as well as some slightly different engraving. Um, the base model X4 versus the base model UGX, the UGX will have uh, one star nicer wood. So those are kind of some of the aesthetical differences. Uh, but the biggest difference is you get the adjustable regulations is the big, the big deal between these two guns. Chapuis has supplied instructions for adjusting the regulation. I made some slight editorial changes to their instructions to clean up the French to English translation. What I will try and do is put a link to both of those instructions in the description below. Even though it's a relatively straightforward process, uh, Chapuis does give a word of caution before jumping into adjusting the regulation. Just understand you can make the regulation much better. You could theoretically make the regulation much worse. Uh, just depending on your skill set and what exactly you do with the adjustment. So just a word of caution and uh, there you have it. So first we'll take a look at the horizontal regulation. Uh, that's what it looks like there. It resides under the forearm so you won't see it when the gun is fully assembled. You have two locking screws and one adjustment screw for the regulation. Um, all of the adjustment is going to be done to the free floating barrel which is the right barrel. Uh, when you're looking down the, the gun. Um, so all your adjustments, just keep that in mind, are going to be done to that right free-floating barrel. Um, you have the two locking screws, of course, before you make any adjustments, you want to back those off. And before you actually test fire the gun, you, of course, want to lock them back down after you've made your adjustments. Um, so for, for the horizontal regulation, as you tighten the adjustment screw, it's going to put some slight pressure on that free-floating barrel. Uh, not directly, but it does put pressure on it. Um, that's going to draw the points of impact closer together. Uh, they're going to converge. And conversely, if you loosen that adjustment screw, it's going to pull the points of impact apart from each other. So this is what the vertical regulation cap looks like. There's three locking screws, screw, two screws for the adjustments of the regulation. Again, all the adjustments work against the free-floating right barrel. The center screw that's labeled as number five is a point where the cup somewhat rotates against. It's in, in the center there. Um, the instructions call it. You have to loosen that as well as the two other locking screws that are there. And then depending on if you're trying to lower the shot, uh, you adjust screw six and seven accordingly. Or if you're trying to raise the shot, you, you adjust screw six and seven accordingly. Uh, I think it actually says if you're trying to lower the shot, you tighten six, screw six, and then you tighten screw seven in that order. Um, and then if you're trying to raise the shot, you unscrew seven first, and then you unscrew six. And you're supposed to do that kind of little bits at a time to, and slowly work your way up or down, depending on what you're trying to do. And, of course, you lock it, lock, use lock all locking screws afterwards, uh, and then you can, you can test fire. So head off and have some fun.